Morning, Geeks! Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here, and welcome to the show we call Morning Geeks, the show where we geek out on some of the cool geek culture in the geek world with your geekiness on this. Stardate 306291.49. My name is Jeffrey Powers. I gotta fix that graphic right there, but uh, you can find me over at Geekazine. Think Magazine put in the geek. You got me geek out and folks from there. So um, before we get started, just so you know, show no, if, if you're watching it recorded, it really doesn't matter. Maybe it does. But uh, if you're watching it live, we're live right now over on Facebook.com forward slash uh, forward slash Geekazine, of course. Uh, but the other thing is that I'm having some problems with the computer. I thought it was a heat issue, but it turn, uh, it's actually just turning itself off at, at certain times. I'm not exactly sure if I'm using too much power or whatnot. Um, I thought it was a heat issue. I fixed uh, I fixed it by changing all the heat sink on it, and I thought it worked better. And then uh, last night it started acting up again. So hopefully the computer won't turn off. If it turns off, if all of a sudden everything stops, that means the computer just turned off. Just so you know. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Happy International Day for the preservation of the ozone layer. Whew. Happy National Guacamole Day. It is National Guacamole Day, so get your chips and get your guac uh, going and go from there. And happy Stay Away from Seattle Day. Yeah, this is, I don't know. Who makes, who makes these days up? Is there a way that you can make a day up? Is there a way that, you know, this is like a form you have to fill out that, that says, hey, I want this day to happen. Um, uh, cause if that's the case, then I I'm going to, I'm going to look into that and do that myself. We'll see what happens. So happy geeks to you. You are all geeks. Happy birthday to BB King, Peter Falk. You know, the Peter Falk is the, 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 that's my best Peter Falk. I'm not going to do much more. And, uh, the magic, the magic that is Mr. David Copperfield. Happy birthday to you. A lot of other people. Happy birthday. Lots of people. I know Mark Anthony's having a birthday. I know, um, some YouTube stars are having a birthday. I'm not having a birthday. I don't know. So, but you know, I could have a birthday. You could say happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Yay. Every day is my birthday. Every day is my birthday. Yay. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you're having a great day because I'm having a great day and we all should have a great day. So, check everything out over at geekazine.com. That's where you can go to geek and join the Geek Scony Nation. And what and to and head and what and who to head and what is he to hoda? The geek. The geek, the geek Asconian nation. What are you talking about? I do not know this geek Asconian nation you're talking about. Well, if you haven't heard the news, uh, this last week I joined Patreon, uh, and which uh, I'm, I'm very grateful for. And it's been spending a few weeks. This was a super secret pro project I was on. So I've uh, I've I've created uh, a Patreon page for you to come and help me. Uh, get money. And because of this, uh, I wanted to make it more of a community. And to make it more of a community, you got to have something. Like, like for instance, if, if you're in Hawaii, you're part of the Ohana. Um, but I'm from Wisconsin, not from Hawaii. So what do I have? Well, you know, Wisconsinites have sconies. So ladies and gentlemen, I have the Scony Geek Nation. Yeah, the Scony Geek Nation. This is the, uh, this is the, the, uh, the group where you could be part of a Wisconsin. You know, hey, it's the fun part of the United States. You got the beer, you got the brats, you got the cheese curds, you got the, even if you're lactose intolerant, you, you got the cheese curds. Be, be, be a part of this Scony Geek Nation. So how do you do it? All you have to do is go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash geekazine, and, uh, and, and basically uh, donate or pledge. It's not really donating, it's pledging. Yeah, you're pledging, but you're getting content in return. And we're going to do a lot of great stuff over at the Scony Geek Nation. Like, for instance, giveaways. We've got lots of stuff. I get stuff all the time. Um, like, for instance, a couple weeks ago, you know, I showed you this uh, jungle book. Jungle of Foticular book. Let's zoom in here and show you. Uh, so basically, you know how the eyes moved when I did this. Yeah. You want this book? Hey, this is going to be the first giveaway that we've got uh, with the part of the Scony Geek Nation. And I'm going to tell you something. I've got some I've got some cool stuff coming up in the uh, in the upcoming contest. These are going to be weekly contests. So this one, if you just basically be a part of Patreon right now, you do that dollar level, five dollar level, that's fine. You do that, you can win this book. We're going to draw for next week. I'm going to have other stuff. I've got some stuff down here. Uh, I've got some stuff coming. Like for instance, I've showed this one before, the Arcos Driver. 
uh, thing. I'll probably put that onto the list of things that you can get with this. But this is the cool thing. So, so you enter, and, or, or you, you become a part of the Sconey Geek Nation, and you win this book. That's okay. Next week, next week's prize, you could win that too. You could win the week prize after that. There is no 30-day rule. There is no nothing like that. Yeah, I draw the winner. You win. It's your name again. You win again. Simple as that. And, you know, it's first, for those of you who can't donate a dollar, um, a dollar a month, which basically is about 10 cents a video, then you can always enter. I'll always have an alternate thing. Um, I create a video on it. Just go to facebook.com forward slash geekazine, find the video, comment on it, and of course, like the page over at facebook.com forward slash geekazine. So, all right, I'm going to spend a little bit too much time on that, but you get the idea. That is over at patreon.com forward slash geekazine. I hope that, uh, that you can become a part of the Sconey Geek Nation. Got a couple products here that I'm going to show off really quick. First of all, this is the Smart Wireless Thermometer. It's in here somewhere in the bag. I should have pulled that out of the bag. It happens. So anyway, this little thing, you basically tag it. Uh, you paste it on. It's got a little uh, sticker or, or clip or something like that. You can paste it anywhere. You can paste it on your forehead. You can paste it on your tongue. Ah, uh, And it's like, hey, look. Uh, eh, I'll stop that. Anyway, but anyway, this is, this is from Sense Peanut. And uh, it'll, it'll tell you the temperature. I'm going to have this in my guitar case because my acoustic guitars... I need to worry about temperature and humidity there. So we'll see what happens, and of course we'll do the review and possible giveaway for that. The other thing, I got this, I just got this yesterday, I didn't expect this. It's from Rokin, and of course, with the iPhone 7 coming out, you no know, headphone jack, oh my goodness, no headphone jack. Well, uh, there's a lot of USB wireless headphones, and this is one of them, it's a Rokin. Let me, let me zoom in again. Uh, these it's just basically smart earbuds so you put it in your ear and uh, turn it on I haven't I haven't paired it up or set it up yet so but as you can see it's charging uh, through this little charger case which is pretty cool pretty cool so but anyway that's from Rokin uh, I will be doing a review on that shortly and uh, and go from there and uh, yeah so we've got everything out of the way I think it's time I think it's time for a show what do you think do you do you want to do you want to be part of the show yeah okay all right, let's let's uh, let me just do this really quick, and then we'll flip over here and then we'll get started right now. All right. <clears throat> so last week I talked about M Drive, which is this electromagnetic uh, drive that can push satellites into space. Cheaper, easier, uh, less burnout, I guess. Uh, so you can get you can you can send single satellites up into space. They're self-propelled. There's no fuel or anything like that. Some of you had an issue with the way that I talked about this stuff, and I even got a comment like this: "It stands for electromagnetic, you dumb." Well, okay, I need to address this because it, it's very important here. First of all, you got to understand it's. It's EM drive. It's EM drive. Or, I'm sorry, M drive. M drive. Not EM drive. That's electromagnetic. E.M. drive would mean, hey, this is electromagnetic. And so that would that would make sense. Even EM, if because electromagnetic is one word, you do capital E, lowercase m drive, there'd be a space in there. But in this case, this is e, this is M drive, which means that it sounds like that they're trying to create a word, a trademarkable word. Um, so it doesn't really oh, it doesn't always mean electromagnetic drive. For all we know, they could be big fans of Emmett Brown and call it the Emmett Brown drive. You never know. That is why I didn't call it an electromagnetic drive. It's, uh, it's so for all of you haters out there, stop the hate. Don't you love me? Come on. You gotta love me. Somebody love me. You know who loves me? LaCroix loves me. How do they love me? Well, they simply made a Morning Geeks LaCroix can. No, not really. This is actually a meme that's going across the internet. You can actually uh, you can actually put in your uh, whatever you want. And uh, it's actually a spinning can. 
It's really cool. It's not LaCroix. They're not sponsoring me. They're, they're not sponsoring that page. It's just a fun little thing that I found on the interwebs. And I'll have the link in the show notes uh, once I find it again. <laughs> that, that, so you can create your own LaCroix, LaCroix can. So, all right. Could Ghost Rider be coming to Gage of the Shield? No way. No way. You got the, the Ghost Rider. Where am I? Man. That's my Nicolas Cage. Sorry. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, would uh, would he be part of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Uh, why isn't Nicolas Cage playing? Because he's almost Superman? Switched over to the other side or whatnot? I have to say I missed him, uh, the, missed the last half season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I wasn't too happy with it. I, I'm kind of thinking that it, it, in a way it jumped the shark, so we'll see what happens on this season and uh go from there i know that uh you know i was i was more of a fan of agent carter and of course that got canceled last season so uh really sad there but you know hey they gotta move on to move on that's all i'm saying so let's move on bioshock the collection has launched a new trailer out and uh it's a remastered bundled bioshock collection the collection is what it's called it's a remastered bundled including upgrades so you can finally play the game in HD. If you own Bioshock, Bioshock 2, or Minerva's Den, Minerva, Minerva, Minerva's Den, yeah, I can say that out loud, you can upgrade it for free, but you got to do it quick because it does have a limited time offer attached to it. So check that out over at Bioshock. Well, I suppose it can't be worse than what DC is pulling out. Heck, they might even follow uh, the Marvel uh, uh, cookie cutter and, and Stan Lee will get superpowers that he always wanted. Still, someone is going to have to make Stan... Uh, it's going to have to make Stan set... Uh, make a Stan Lee set action adventure movie. I can speak. Yes, okay. Uh, how much action adventure can it really contain? I mean, two men sitting in a... Two men sitting at a table drawing comics until Stanley screws over Jack Kirby. Will it be a f will it be a fight filmed at the air at the airport? That'd be kind of cool. It's like okay, here we go. We've got we've got this fight. Let's do it. Airport. Stanley. Jack Kirby. No. Put him up. Put him. Put him up. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But Fox has the rights to this. Uh, to this. Uh, probably the life story. It says it's an action movie. So. You know, maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, they'll, they'll show some 70s uh, style uh, cartoon characters, uh, real life cartoon characters over that. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. So let's let's move on from here. Oh, that's interesting. Let's do that. Uh, you know, fran bad news for the, if you're a fan of Star Trek, the uh, show Star Trek Discovery launch date had got pushed back to May 2017. They claim they need more time to bring a quality show to you geeks out there. But that's okay. It doesn't mean that I have to compete uh, watching with the regular season. I can devote more time to watching the show when it comes out now in May. And, of course, I don't have to pay for CBS until May. So I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. So, And, hey, uh, finally, if you're, if you're now standing right in line for your Apple iPhone 7 waiting for the store to open up. Well, you might want to kind of pack your stuff up, go home. You can still get an iPhone 7, but you're not going to get the iPhone 7 Plus. Kind of like Barack Obama there. Uh, you're not going to get the iPhone 7 Plus. Anyway, uh, and you, of course, you're not going to get the, uh, the the iPhone 7 in the matte black. Uh, you can pack up, you go ahead, pack up your tent and share. Empty that stadium, buddy. It's, it's time to go home. Because it's not going to happen. Maybe you'll be able to uh, get on a waiting list, but I can do that online as well. I am going to get myself an iPhone 7 Plus. I'm very impressed with this. Uh, so we'll. Uh, but you know, I'm going to wait a couple months. Actually, I have uh, one of those uh, uh, turn-in uh, contracts where you turn in your old phone and and you get the new one. And you get a discounted rate, and I did 18 months so I could get it at this time. And this is actually good news for Apple as they now know that they're back on the right track with having their launch dates uh, sell out phones. Uh, you can still get success. There's nothing wrong with that success. I don't want it. Though. I'm just saying. We blow the whistle on new to this week. I think of it as a Google search, except instead of searching only what people make public, we're also looking at everything they don't. Which people? The whole kingdom, Snow White. 
Oliver Stone tries his hand at telling the story of Edward Snowden, a politically charged movie that questions patriotism through the exposing of secret documents from the NSA, as Snowden has been on the run for a few years now. Question is, will Joseph Gordon-Levitt be able to live up to the role? Now keep in mind he's actually met Snowden in Russia, so maybe he knows some of the other conspiracy theories like 9-11 or who shot JR, oh, oh, I mean JFK, yeah. Do you believe in the stories about the Blair Witch? Oh my god. Oh, they're everywhere. What was that? Remember the Blair Witch Project? Well, it's back. Question is, will it turn the found footage movie genre upside down again like it did in 1999? They tried to fake us out already by first calling it The Woods. At least it wasn't a Into the Woods sequel. That'd be weird. We can make a film that shows us going to the moon without actually doing it. If you don't believe either conspiracy, well, here's another one making its release to theaters. Operation Avalanche is a recreation of a possible true story about how four CIA agents go undercover as film students documenting how the moon landing was all fabricated. Now, does this one include a dark spirit of a little girl that wants to kill everyone? No? Just cheesy 1960s editing to make people think that they're there? Oh, okay. And no, Photoshop wasn't even around back then. What popped in my head was, well, if we could take this idea for a, for a portable, and we could make it run the software that was written for the IBM PC. Ooh, it's like that's when the chill went down my spine. A better documentary is the story of compact computers in Silicon Cowboys. I actually saw this at South by Southwest and really enjoyed it. If you're a fan of AMC's Halt and Catch Fire series, this is the story it was loosely based on. The big difference? Well, they have Mackenzie Davis. And it was used in Turtle One. It's always Donnie's chair, the skateboard chair, because it fits the turtle shell. Finally, the turtles hit the DVD shelves and maybe also the pizza boxes on Tuesday. Out of the shadows and into your homes it'll go. Of course, you can get it on digital download now. And although it wasn't really a hit in theaters, it might just be a good time for the family movie night. And that is new to this week. All right, good times, great oldies. I don't know, anyway, it's a teenage, I want that chair. That's an awesome chair, this little skateboard chair. I mean, it'd probably be rough on your back and your butt, but that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, and of course, Silicon Cowboys. I cannot stress. Uh, it's. I thought it was a great movie. Uh, it really just delved in, dove, dove into into this whole genre, um, and gives you an idea of what life was like when I was growing up. So, <laughs> pretty cool stuff. And a great documentary. It's a, it's a great uh, great watch. So check that out. And of course, uh, check out some of the other stuff that's coming out here this week. Uh, so, and we'll go from there. Um, once again, I want to push the Patreon page over at patreon.com forward slash geekazine. Yeah, patreon.com forward slash geekazine. Be a part of the Scony Geek Nation. I uh, appreciate it much so we can continue on great, getting better, better, and better as we go. So, all right, let's get into our, our main subject. We're going to be talking right now, the Geek Fall Schedule. Now, these are shows that are coming up. They're actually, everything's pretty much starting next week. There have been a couple shows that have already uh, come into the fold, but these shows are going, to be, uh, are going to be here starting next week. And then, of course, some of your favorites and some of the new stuff. So let's get into it. Fall Geek Schedule is here, and it all starts tonight. Tonight with Z Nation. Z Nation. Um, if you've never seen it, it's on Sci-Fi. We finally get back into the story of Murphy and the gang. Murphy is this uh, guy that got bit, but apparently has some sort of antibodies, uh, which were injected into him, that made him not a zombie, although he's kind of turning into a zombie. It's, it's really weird. So, And, of course, they've been trying to get him to a place where he can be, uh, he can be uh, checked out and, and maybe an antidote, antidote, antidote can be created. So uh, it's, it's hope in the zombie world. And uh, I'm pretty uh, excited. It's a great, great, great show. So, well, other shows have already started. Um, like I said, we got the mid-season restart of Fear the Walking Dead. I'm still not totally on board with that show. Um, it, but it was nice to have something to watch uh, while I'm waiting for The Walking Dead to come up. So, 
The geekery really starts on Monday, September 19th. That's this Monday. The Big Bang Theory starts back up. Um, but also we have Gotham, and we have Season 2 of Lucifer on Fox. I've never seen Lucifer, um, but I, I, ha I am a big fan of Gotham. I'm really impressed with the direction of, excuse me, of Gotham for Season 3. I thought that last season was getting a little bit away from them with all these villains inside of Arkham Asylum, but they had B.D. Wong that was playing uh, 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 Professor S uh, Strange, no, not Doctor Strange. Anyway, uh, <laughs> to think about these things sometimes. Uh, so I, I, was, I thought, well, this might be this might be the season that just kind of says, okay, it's time, but. I like how they, they, they wrapped it up. And then, of course, they brought in my, one of my favorites, if not my all-time favorite villain for Batman, and that's the Mad Hatter. And so we're going to see, and of course, uh, Benedict, I can't remember his last name, he will be part of that. I'm really excited to see uh, what the direction that they're going to take. Tuesday, we'll have Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, start their new season. I've already talked about that one. We'll see how this show goes. Uh, Ghost Rider has always been a favorite uh, uh, a favorite of mine, so we'll see, we'll see how that works. So Wednesday, CBS will debut its movie reboot, Lethal Weapon, with Damon Wayans. I, I'm not really excited to see this one. I'll probably, you know, car, car wreck watch it, uh, rubberneck it. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, well, that was a good try, you know. So especially because because uh, they got rid of Limitless for shows like this. Really, Limitless? They could have had it. I thought that was a decent show. I'm surprised nobody picked it up. But what can you do? What can you do? I don't expect this show to be around too much. We'll see what happens. Uh, you might you might just love it. It's it's not always about the show, but about the characters in the show. And of course, Damon Wayne said he's a good character. He's a good he's a good actor. He, he works well with others. So we'll, I don't know. Maybe maybe it will be the blockbuster hit. So what else? Uh, I think Thursday Thursday is all that uh, all that you know how to get away with murder. You know either you got comedy blocks I know Superstore's on there or you know all the drama on ABC. Um, and then I think uh, I think some reality TV. So nothing geeky really. But Friday we'll have The Exorcist, the reboot of MacGyver, um, and uh, sci-fi is going to debut their movie to series, Van Helsing. So that should be interesting to watch. Missing are all those time travel movies, and really, uh, that they, they talked about it the, the, for previews, and anything on the CW. Looks like they're actually going to hold off until October, October 4th, for their new shows. Flash will start things off with Arrow on October 5th, and Supergirl on Monday, October 10th. So they're really... And of course, DC's Legends of Tomorrow will also be in there. But what's really missing um, is the season three of iZombie. What the hell, CW? I know you're trying to get the DC shows over, but iZombie? That's the real reason why I'm actually watching the CW. Hopefully, you know, it basically, once, once a couple of shows start to... I'm done, then they'll replace it with other shows. So, But they're going to make iZombie a mid-season replacement. They're going to make us wait. One of their top shows, they're going to make us wait till mid-season. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe, maybe you should have traded it to CBS. CBS could have used iZombie. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sad, but uh, what can you do? Maybe petition CW to get iZombie on the air? Possibly. Then on September 30th, Netflix will have Luke Cage to binge watch, of course, part of the Marvel, Marvel series. Um, other no notables will be Westworld on HBO October 2nd, Scorpion on CBS on October 3rd, and uh, they will have a two-hour premiere. And then, of course, we have Timeless, uh, which is the time travel NBC show on October 2nd. I didn't see the other time travel show, but I'm not exactly sure the name of it. I might have missed it in the listing there. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. How do you do? I see you met my geeky world of nation. Um, let's do the time. It's called Rocky Horror Picture Show. Let's do the time warp again. I don't know. Maybe I'll throw rice at the TV. It's possible. You throw rice or toast? Some people throw rice. Some people throw toast. I don't know. It's going to be on Fox October 20th 
I think that's the live action. They're also going to do hairspray uh, in December. So they've they've been finding these live these live shows are are working pretty good. So uh, maybe that's NBC. Anyway, finally, uh, we'll find out who Negan killed on October 23rd. And then Pure Genius, a new show about tech, a tech billionaire who builds a state-of-the-art hospital, will debut on October 27th. Uh, we then have the alien abductee show People of Earth on TBS that hits Halloween. That's, that's a comedy. And uh, we're probably not going to all get drunk and try to win $100 for best costume on the Saturday before. So you can watch it on Monday. And then, uh, of course, I may have missed a couple. That's possible. That's very possible. But uh, some simply because I really don't think they're going to get past their first few episodes. But we'll see what happens. If you think I missed one, you can let me know. Um, but, you know, last year, shows didn't start getting... Did we actually had a decent schedule last year, even though I didn't watch, like, Blind Spot or anything like that. I didn't care for those shows. But they none of the shows got canceled until, like, late October. So they had, like, they had their eight-week run, and nobody was saying, okay. But then they started finally getting uh, knocked off. But it wasn't until, like, November or December that they that they really started to uh, look at the schedule. So, But they we had some good shows. Like I said, Limitless. So this year I expect a few shows to disappear pretty quick. I may be wrong, but uh, from what I can tell from the previews, I, would, uh, I wouldn't I would go putting money down on them to survive to their se series finales or season finales. So what shows are you waiting for? Let me know. Tweet me over at Geekazine, geekazine at gmail.com. Uh, you can always contact me through Facebook, facebook.com forward slash geekazine, youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Hopefully uh, soon, because uh, YouTube's now rolling out communities that will be part, uh, hopefully we'll be getting part in that beta community uh, thing. Right now, it's just basically I post, you comment. So if I post, you don't comment, I get sad. Simple as that. Just like with anything else, if I post, you don't comment, I get sad. So uh, go ahead and post, go ahead and uh, be part of Geekazine. And remember, hey, you know, be a part of the Scony Geek Nation over at patreon.com forward slash geekazine. And oh yeah, I forgot to do that. That shows us the Geek Fall Schedule. I had to do that one more time since I'm probably going to get rid of that graphic after today. So remember, uh, you can enter to win on the Jungle Book. You don't have to be a part of the Patreon. You just have to comment. Find the Go to Facebook.com forward slash Geekazine. Find that video and just comment on there. And then you'll get put into that, uh, into that uh, drawing right there. So... Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for geeking out with me. My name is Jeffrey Powers. We are here every single Friday for your geekery so you know what's going on in the geek world. And if you've got stuff you want to contribute, let me know, and we'll, go, we'll get that going. So you guys geek out, take care, and we'll see you next time on Morning Geeks. Take care.